Okay, uh, so I did the blocks, which uh, contrary to what I thought, uh, was very easy. So uh, obviously the grain has to go from, has to always be, uh, I guess, perpendicular to the, the two places you're going. So I did one side flat, then went on the big uh, belt sander, and then uh, marked the other one, the other side. For the one that are exterior, I just did the... Uh, a preliminary cut so I'll save those for after I've installed the lamination yeah I was, I was surprised how easy it was um, ask maybe something I always uh, I don't know what you guys do but for my modeling airplane I always cut the uh, corner here which is where there's a, a bit of a blob of glue in there it's difficult to reach there and I pretty much sure that this is no strength there it's more of those grains here that are part of the strength and, and also this minuscule triangle there will get filled with uh, the structural T88 so uh, so yeah well, I was surprised Just I went with a bandsaw most of the time made a line, bandsaw and then two three times until uh, I got the angle until it was sitting flat perfect then I used the uh, since uh, my plane under here is perpendicular to my plane here, I used uh, just a square to uh, to extend my line from this surface because this surface is the interior of my lamination. So use this guy and use my faithful uh, 0.05 lead pencil and uh, scribe a line right there. So now I'll be able to sand these. Uh, with Lynn's new power file Turbo 2000 Gold Edition um, and, uh, and that's it I have something else I thought of that might help so I've uh, got these super thin steel plate they're like a couple of thousands at max so I'll put those here to protect uh, this edge while I send away with the power file. I'll also put a line on top here to join the two lines so I know where to stop. Uh, so I'll do the bulk of the machine and then after with uh, a small file, uh, file with a big sanding block, uh, hopefully on the flat surface here, I'll, I'll sand this perfectly flat with this surface. Uh, so this was uh, Using the flush cutting bit, I've made these two sides, all of the sides flush with the lamination. I, uh, I then did uh, from one and a quarter here to nothing there with uh, a ruler, flexible ruler, and then uh, just went on the bands and the the belt sander. This, uh, well, this one's a, a serious one, but. Uh, even for somebody in his own own garage, I'm sure he could uh, set up something with a, a more of a handheld, uh, easy to acquire uh, belt sander. It would be just about as effective. <coughs> uh, that's it. Well, you guys are right about this uh, power file thing. It's uh, super easy to operate. It has a variable speed. It even collects dust in a cyclotronic turbo 2000 uh, thingy and um, so yeah it's and it's also you can lock it on so to uh, This is super easy to keep control of the 
of it and uh, I think this steel plate is a great idea so it's uh, extremely thin and uh, it uh, obviously doesn't eat at all this of course it means that I'm going to be a bit shy of uh, my line but I guess the uh, the rest will be done by hand with the with a square so it, it's going to be flat and square Okay, so I've uh, taken out every 516 bits or uh, transfer bit I have and this is exactly the height I need the lamination to be raised off this surface uh, so they are lightly held and then they'll support it I'm confirmed with uh, I'm going to be confirming with lines there and on the lamination also made this small block here that rides on the, uh, the surface there to make uh, make the sanding perfect here and it seems to be working okay okay uh, now I've glued uh, no I've screwed I have screwed uh, this plate on the table and then I've uh, I didn't know what to do about clamping the lamination so I used those those offset clamps with some spacers so I would push be pushing in the center and it went, uh, it went uh, easily. Uh, I've installed uh, some of the blocks that I that I had that were accessible. Of course, I'll have to put those after. And, um, I'm disappointed myself. I got a couple of. Uh, I'm gonna have to use the gap filling capis capability of the T88. Um, uh, 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 but structurally wise it's, it's stronger than the wood so we're good well please confirm but I think we're good uh, so Lynn tells me also for the other questions that I uh, seems like I should have uh, read more thoroughly the uh, other sheets like 300, 301, 302 um, so uh, I will do my uh, homework uh, yeah, also the uh, yeah I think uh, my friend Larry from, uh, from Canada um, was definitely right just do one one thing at a time at the beginning I went through the entire the entire plan to get an, uh, an overview of what was involved uh, then I think it's a great idea to to just just do the small the small projects add in go thoroughly through the plan at each step because I'm sure I forgot some stuff that I've read before